Hello everybody, in this episode we're gonna learn how to spawn our next tower, the defensive tower and also we're gonna have to learn how to put this dynamic cost this player so this one will cost 5, 4, this, this is not done yet so it's minus 1 so let's go ahead and spawn a tower, spawn and now we can't spawn anymore let's see how it works so the next tower that we have is gonna be the defensive tower in the previous episode we've done the the passive tower which gives us money and the next one is going to be this mask man or mask person <laughs> and basically it's going to just stay put and then uh, it's going to take hits but it's, it has the special thing which has which is the high amount of health if this one has two points of health this one will have probably six or seven so let's start building script Let's call it Tower Mask. So we have Tower Mask. Let's remove this so we don't have to confuse ourselves. Tower Mask. Let's wait for it to open. This Tower Mask is gonna have really short, you know, script content because it's it's basically passive, so it just takes hits. Let's remove all these things. We're gonna have the fields. And the fields is going to be health, um, cost. Probably that's everything. And uh, methods going to be have to have initiate and lose health and die. Probably that's all the stuff. Simply, what we're going to do is let's move these. Let's have public integer health public integer cost and in here uh, we're gonna use the same as the first tower it's gonna we're gonna use the start okay I don't like to have private because it's private by default and this one start it's gonna do nothing at the moment because we don't have anything but you feel feel free to use whatever you want you can put particles you can put you know anything in it and lose health is uh, basically just lose health so we go here, health minus minus, and then uh, what about? Oh no, what are we we're doing here? I think we're not doing any indication. So for this one, we just lose health, and then we check if we are dying. So we can use the same mechanic from the ping tower. Again, a lot of the f uh, some of the methods are. Uh, similar so we can use interface it's it's all up to you i'm just using simple manners so feel ahead to expand this as much as you want if if health less equals zero die and then die is uh, die is basically a method when you die and we're going to use the same thing as in here we're going to destroy a game object and then you just Say tower mask is dead. I just thought tower is dead. Uh, these are two simple methods we're using. Start nothing, definitely. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, see how it works inside. Here we go. We have first, second tower is this guy, and it has its part of the spawner and we can go to the prefab which is in here the same one is in here double click it and then uh, just drag and drop the tower mask so let's go ahead and just give it 8 you know it, it's a really powerful tower and the cost is uh, let's go ahead with 4 I would recommend if you get if you have some sort of a like a library for the all the tower costs like you, you can create a script that includes a list of uh, you know like f integers of each tower for example this tower has uh, the cost of 5 for level 1 and the cost of uh, sorry the cost of uh, incomes for each increment of level let's say and how much does it cost to you know upgrade all these things and the same goes to all of these stuff and uh, let's let's see what we can do in here so 
right now we added the script of tower mask in the tower prefab all right and uh, we have to change the cost you know I, I, I don't know the words <laughs> we have the cost uh, of the tower feature from here from which we did before is the first tower is tower ping we get the cost and then we check if it's available we build it otherwise not enough currency the second case is tower mask and we get the cost do it here show it up and uh, I want to do this simulation of uh, killing the tower right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn the tower but before we spawn the tower I want to do something cool in here which is I want to put instead of using these stuff I want to use an actual tower like for example this one has a cost of 5 I want the number 5 to be visible in here so we either um, put the, the number in here or whenever we click on it it shows it but I, I'd rather put the number on it so there's multiple ways of doing this uh, first one is you can have a script that uh, you know <clears throat> gets it gets the number from the the spawner for example goes to game manager spawner and then gets its corresponded tower object and then gets the you know the value and puts it on that's exactly what I'm gonna do because if there's anything good in this world is automation all right so we have this life is goofy let's put the, put it white and it should be a huge number like this actually more 60 and I want to put it in the bottom hmm let's keep it as this we have 0.5 um, that's 0.7 0.8 you know that's 0.8 is enough and let's put an outline because I want it to look nicer no I think that's fine I think. what about if I put a black with a white no that's black so let's keep it as it is uh, let's keep it whiter and I would like to have the coin value here in fact I want to have the uh, exact same approach but I want to go with black hmm. okay so this number is gonna I'm gonna go cost and in here I'm gonna create a script cost display displayer all right what it's gonna do is um, you do have to do it in the editor you know for example let's say you, what you're doing is um, why do I have to do all this stuff I don't know I don't know I have to check this out let's say you put let's say you don't have the script you have only put five right and then in, later on you change the value of the tower to six so we have to redo this thing again so we build the script in order to make it more dynamic and you spend less time worrying about what needs to be changed in the UI so here we go. First of all, we need to do is public integer. Actually, hold on. Let's describe the fields. So the fields we need. Um, I want to call it tower ID, and then cost value. But that's all. And for methods, we need uh, fetch uh, in it basically. Fetch the value from the spawner list ah, on our tower list that's basically all we need and uh, let's create this one public integer tower ID then here public integer it's better to keep this private but I just want to put it so we can see it uh, tower cost and then in here we go ahead with uh, void start because we don't want to call this by any other scripts we need to be called it manually and it should have to fetch from the spawner 
So let's say we are here and we set this value to zero so it's gonna go back to the game manager into the spawner and then get the zero amount of the tower but again we have to do this whole process over again because in the spawner we have the something called tower cost so all I have to do is make it public and this will return me the value so go ahead and then go tower cost oh, actually I forgot something here UI text display that's the basic that's the main thing let's go ahead and create this way and you have to import from here text UI text uh, cost our cost so we go ahead with this what am I doing so tower cost equals game manager that instance that spawner that tower cost here we go and we just pass the tower ID so here we have we got no overload oh okay um, that, that, that's correct and uh, to be honest um, I can probably create another let me create another one with a, a overload so this one will have an integer ID and you know what let's do it this way in here we can add integer ID and we can pass the same ID so we have to pass the spawn ID in here spawn ID is basically which tower are we selecting which is basically what, what was in here we just put it up and put it back here so actually let's fix this tower cost that's good that's more dynamic so we get the tower cost and then we display it tower cost that to string this one will help us of to have better visuals so we get the cost let's have something called cost displayer by default let's keep it minus one or at least zero what we need to do is uh, or oh actually you know what we don't need this honestly we don't need this I don't know why I added this all we need to do is we need to get the get component text unity engine.ui.text we don't have to import the whole uh, library we can just access it from in here you can either go using unity.ui or just have it once in here so this sets it up again the lower one you should not touch it should be private but I just kept it public to see what's happening so let's have it here one here and one here let's name them cost so the first one has the ID of zero the second one has the ID of one third one has the ID of two but again we need to zero these guys up oh, not like this should be here zero and zero that's about it I guess let's let's save it let's play so let's you know let's take from what we left zero one whoa what's the issue here I think it's this one so I'm gonna disable the third one because it's not fully functional but let's see what's the error is happening from okay this should be one so when we get the cost of the first one so I'm gonna do this thing I'm gonna pass the ID here because this is basically so if we have zero it's gonna take from zero one so that's good and uh, we can keep this on actually this doesn't matter it's, it's gonna it's gonna get back uh, uh, minus one if I'm not mistaken yes so we have this five if we click here put it five four four uh, 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 you know error <laughs> we gain more we can spawn it now so with this we have uh, this tower that gives us money the other one that gives us nothing just that you know defensive tower but 
I want to do a smaller test. So let's build this tower in here, right? And I want to make it lose its health. So spawn towers. We have this tower that has the health of eight. Let me make a button on one time because I don't want it to be modified and the hurt tower. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna just manually drag and drop this tower and then call lose health. So if we go click on this tower we see its health in here right? It's eight if I click on this it becomes seven six five four three two one if I click now it's gonna destroy. So that's it. So we lost this tower. This is a sim simple testing of, you know, killing a tower. So that's amazing. Uh, we have our second tower. Also, we have a cost displayer, which helps us uh, know how much each tower costs. And uh, that was a re that was a rich episode. And uh, I hope you liked it and you got something from it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe, and also hit the the bell to get the latest videos. Also post any comments in the you know in the comment section also join our discord channel for any more details apart from that i'll see you all in the next one bye bye